The inside's nice. It does smell like Dallas, though. It smells like, right? Yeah, old Looks, Dallas okay. that's been closed up for like three months, four months. Wow. Good job, Ryan. Hugs. We did it. Did it. Oh. I love you. Oh. What a crazy what trip. What a crazy trip. It's really overwhelming traveling with Sierra when she's like in complete terror mode and doesn't sleep. <laughs> Now we just travel by boat. Yeah. No more planes. I know, right? I'm just like, I don't know if I can fly with a toddler ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Our trip from Sweden back to Panama was intense. And that's putting it pretty lightly. But we were back and really looking forward to decompressing and exploring more of this incredible spot. But before we went out to explore, we needed to make Delos livable again which meant bringing all of our systems back online. The systems on a boat are always a bit finicky, even in the best of times, and leaving them in use is a surefire way to experience some interesting failures, as we were about to see firsthand. Okay, we're gonna start powering up systems and seeing what works. So refrigeration. Uh, we're at minus 15 and falling, so that's good news on the freezer. Should stop around minus 16 Celsius, something like that. So the freezer works? Freezer's working. Yay! Fresh water. Yep, we're testing the toilet. Making sure it works. Yep, it's flashing. Sweet. Water heater. See if that works. And what else? Oh, might as well just power up everything electronics. VHF radio. Satellite coming on. Okay, so the satellite is tracking and I just checked my phone and it's working. So that's the big plus too <laughs> for when we leave the marina. But that's actually up and running. We have internet. All right, looks like the gray water pump is working just fine. You can hear it. So that pumps out all the... So that's all the, that's the pump for the showers and the sinks inside that goes into the gray water tank and then gets pumped out. <laughs> We have about 275 liters. Um, it's probably enough to last us for like, what, three days? Clean. All right, should we give the beast a start? Wow, I'm a bit nervous. Are you? <laughs> what are you? I don't know, this is a big one. <laughs> Whoa! Cranked right up. Wow! That's pretty good. <laughs> That's huge, Cooper! Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's see if the radar is working. Radar is in standby. Transmit. Radar's good. Wow. That's a big relief. I'm just gonna turn off the power switch so we can test the test the generator. Okay. Uh, it says 50 hertz now, Panama 60 hertz, so I know we're running off the inverter now. So the inverter's working. That's good news. And then now I'm gonna start up the generator. Oh. Yeah, I, That's a big I, one. I just checked the oil. Oh, that's a good sound. That's a good sign. Okay, uh, power's still on. Now the big test, if the AC turns on, then the 
it's working. I can feel Daisy. <laughs> oh, it's nice. Okay, we just tested all the systems and everything looks really good so far. I'm kind of surprised, but I'm super happy. <laughs> High five. High five. I think I might have spoken too soon. Like the first few days, I was convinced that we were going to come back and everything is going to be working perfectly. And of course, I was full of it because when everything is working and it just seems too good to be true, when it comes to boats, it probably is. What followed over the coming days seems like a scripted series of unfortunate events. But I assure you, when it comes to owning a boat, it's very much par for the course. Oh, jeez. Can you blow? Oh, jeez. How much work oh we just caused God. ourselves? You can hear it down here. It's just going like crazy. It's not supposed to sound like that. Okay, we're almost there. How it smells. It's just amazing the amount of things that break on a boat. It's like this deep in the build right now. There's just water pouring out of the electrical contact. Oh, God. Oh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> My life's in shambles, Keza. You think we're a little bit rusty at this boat life? Oh, you think? Maybe. <laughs> Just wanted to pause the video for a second to give a huge shout out to all our amazing patrons out there. You guys are really the ones that make all of this possible and there wouldn't be any videos without you guys. So if you enjoy the videos and would like to help support our project and keep the videos coming, please go ahead and check out patreon.com forward slash svdello so you can see like all the gear and all the perks and everything else you get when you join our inner tribe. Awesome. Thanks so much and send you all much love. <laughs> Back to the video. Bye. <laughs> Bye. So where do I even begin to describe this comedy of errors? I guess I'll just start at the beginning where I attempted to do something super simple, like fill our freshwater tank from the dock hose and actually ended up filling our entire bilge with hundreds and hundreds of gallons of fresh water. Kaza, can you blow? Oh, jeez. How much work oh we just caused God. ourselves? Like hours. Oh. I think it's mostly my fault. I was filling the water tanks and I made a mental note to watch it and it like filled up and then now the bilge, it started overflowing. Oh my God. Oh no, look at how much water is in there. All of these too. All of those too? That's the still, I think. Oh, jeez. Yeah, mommy and daddy made a big mistake. Oh, jeez. We thought you'd take up some time. Look what we just did. We just cost ourselves hours of work. I don't understand why it didn't come out the top, though. Oh, it's still going. Jesus. God. Oh, welcome back Welcome God. back to Boat Life. Yeah, we just created like a couple of hours of cleaning. It is what it is, and we will just get rid of the things that we broke, and uh, yeah, wish us good luck. You know what? It's supposed to have a drain. If the tank fills up, it's supposed to overflow into the, the gray water tank. So I wonder if like that drain has come off or it's clogged or something. This shouldn't happen, but obviously it has and it sucks because look how much water is in there. It's like this deep in the build right now. Do you think we're a little bit rusty at this boat life? Oh, what? you think? Maybe. It's an amateur hour out here. You want to sink your boat with the fresh water hose. <laughs> and the thing that sucks is we have to pay for water here, so we're literally just like... Been going for 45 minutes now. Oh, the still is completely submerged. There's just water pouring out of the 
electrical contact. What a disaster, Kaza. Okay. The whole build just filled with water. It's 100% my fault. Bye <laughs> it's hard to be upset when she's around and doesn't have any idea what a big screw up this is. Well, that's two hours of our lives we'll never get back. That was a stupid mistake. I think we've gotten a little rusty. Four months of land life and then like almost sink the boat with fresh water. That's stupid. Let's not do that again. Let's not do that again. But we got it. Everything's cleaned up. Everything's dry. The bilges are cleaner than they were when we started, so that's the good thing. <laughs> now we're gonna have fish tacos. Fish tacos. Good night. Oh, it's a beautiful sunny day today. So they have a few really nice spots here at the island. Like we can walk to two pools or like numerous beaches. So we take a little walk in the jungle and then we go and play in the water. Oh, in a tree. What you what? With a baby. What? On his back. I was going to run to get the GH. Well, what? You, what? What? <laughs> what is a parasolsa? A sloth. Oh. I think it's a stroller. <laughs> I don't have a GH, but Brian. <laughs> what? It's pretty close to the ground too. Oh my god. <laughs> We're like watching this thing, and I'm like, that's like, that's a baby on its back. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have the GH, but we have a GoPro now that causes it's here. right there now. Under that the tree? Oh, I thought he had a big I don't really stomach. see Where you like anything. It's like right there. Look, at first I thought, he was is he a different kind? He's a little baby. Oh, wow. Freaking cool is that? Oh, I'm so small. Good spot. Yeah. Loving it. Such a good beach day today. It's been sort of our daily routine. Yeah. Wake up, make the walk over, <laughs> go to the beach, swim the nugs. Yeah, like walk the nugs, walk the let nugs. her run around, <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. she sleeps good in the afternoon. So I was just talking to that dude uh, that was that's working here, oh. the guy with the coconuts. Yeah. He says he can get us a gallon of coconut water for five dollars. No. Every system in your body is working. It's amazing. It's, it's amazing for drink every day. Your baby, your wife, you. Very you happy wife. Water. Yeah, man. Yes. Yeah. That's Thank amazing. you, man. Fine, man. Thank yeah. you so much. All right, my friend. Wow. Welcome, Welcome to the paradise. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Fine, man. See you. think I might have spoken too soon like the first few days I was convinced that we were going to come back and everything is going to be working perfectly and of course I was full of it because uh, it just stopped draining I don't even know if I want to show you the soup that's in here but maybe we'll blur it out if it's oh god it's disgusting and you know how I hate that shit. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna get a pump and we're gonna pump it out of there and then we gotta figure out why it's clogged and I hate my life right now. I thought we were gonna make it, Kaza, but a few days, first thing. And of course it's the toilet. Oh god, I'm gonna have to pump this stuff out of here. Oh jeez. It's been mixed around, it's like a chunk, it's like a soup. I'm just gonna use this pump. Oh, <laughs> it's so Disgusting. Uh. <laughs> Ow, it smells. Oh, it smells. It smells real bad. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, step one. 
Oh, but that's only the beginning. What is your plan of action here? So the, I suspect that it's like this little hose that comes off the back of the toilet. Cause the last time we did anything with that was in St. Helena when we had that last big explosion. I would say 15 liters of just gushed. Well, you think, think that, that the hose is clogged? I think that the hose is clogged. This is one end of it right here. So basically the, the way this thing works is there's this, uh, the, the pump motor. Yep. That thing has a little blade on it that spins around and it literally macerates the shit and everything else up. And then there's a like a impeller in there that takes it and pumps it and shoves it up into that tube through a joker valve, which is supposed to keep stuff from coming back down the tube. And then it forces it up, uphill, uphill, up through here and into the tank. And usually when it does this, it's this tube here. I don't know if you can see it. I suspect this one. So what happens when you loosen that? Is shit gonna spray out there? Oh God! Oh, oh my oh. God! Uh. Oh. <laughs> God, why? <laughs> oh. Oh God, it's dripping on my pants. Oh, look at all that scaling in there. Oh, why is that created? It's, uh, it's like the ammonia and pee that reacts with the salt water that creates the scale. Let's see if, we, if water actually comes out of this thing. Oh, it's gonna shoot I mean, up. And it's filling up. So. Look at that, that's 100% clogged. Yeah, okay. You know what sometimes helps? It's like just smashing it on the dock. sweaty here. Yeah. Should we try it? One, two, three. Oh, wow. Wow. Good now job, that's Ryan. some flushing action. I would high five you, but I don't want to touch you don't my want to? hand. Oh, shame. <laughs> that it. Oh, well, thank you for the help. Yeah. I'm going to sanitize this bathroom. We're going to sanitize everything and I need to take a shower. Okay. But I'm really proud of myself for not gagging as much as I usually you do. You really did not gag that much. No. I'm a new man. Not something I'm proud of. Well, on to our third mini fiasco since we've gotten back. We were just using the water and noticed that the bilge pump just started making a really funny noise and stopped pumping. You can hear it down here. It's just going like crazy. It's not supposed to sound like that. It's just amazing the amount of things that break on a boat. Anyway, I gotta take it off and um, I think I have a spare. Okay, at least now I can concentrate. Okay, let's see what's up with this thing. It looks like they've used a cheap ass plastic gear. There's a brass gear on the motor. And then the actual part that goes up and down that pumps it is right here. And it's just, it's just plastic. So it's just skipping on my fingers. What brand is this? Gulper 320. And they're not cheap either. They're expensive. I don't know why they use plastic parts. You see that gear right there? See how thin it is? Oh, wow. I think this pump was in here for $2, or $2, not $2, 
for two years. And they're not cheap, a couple hundred bucks, only last two years, it's kind of Yeah, that sucks. But let's have another one. Yeah. Despite our growing frustrations on board, Panama was winning us over. And our walk from the marina to the beach calmed our nerves and kept us sane. For the most part, anyway. No way, it's too cool, the Cayman. There's a Cayman in this creek right here. We're just walking on the beach with the baby nugs and we can see it right here. Uh, against my better judgment, I'm gonna climb out here. It's small though. I don't think it could really get me too much, but I'm gonna climb out and see if I can get a shot of it. So cool, just walking home from the pool and it's all of these monkeys just like jumping in the trees. What are you seeing, monkeys? Sierra gets to see so many animals. I know. Wow, it's still coming down. <gasps> they are the most hilarious. Look how he's leaning like with his back on that branch, just taking a good old rest. What is it, Brian? Big snake? Yeah, big snake. I'm not sure what kind. Look at it looking at us, though. It's like, hello? Probably smell it. Oh, geez, Nux. That's so heavy. You're insisting on carrying that. Here, okay, can you lift it up? Can you lift it up? <laughs> baby, baby strength. Wow. It's like half your body weight. <laughs> She's been doing this for like five minutes. <laughs> you just never give up, do you? Next, the boat thing that is going on is that I tried to do dishes just now, and look what happens. Oh, it was just working. <laughs> it's like a no go. Hold on, let me go kick the pump. Kick it? What do you I'm, mean kick I'm it? I'm just gonna kick it and hit it with a hammer. <laughs> Piece of it. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to get tools out. Uh, why? Why? Um, we got good voltage here. It's definitely the pump motor, I think. Which sucks, because now I gotta pull this pump out and replace it with another one, a spare that I have, so it's just a hassle. But water is sort of important. So now this is what I get to do instead of drinking wine with everybody else. This pump is not in the best shape, but it's all I got right now. So I replaced one crappy pump with an even crappier spare pump that was already in questionable condition after being stored on board for so long. With no marine store here, it would be a race to get another one shipped in from the USA before this one failed as well. All right, I think that's it, Kaza. Yeah, try it. Why, why is this happening? Oh, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> ah! Oh no, Kaza, what happened? You know what? I think the the pump that I replaced with, yeah. the, the crappy spare pump, I think it has higher pressure than the old pump. And so now it blows the faucet out of the sink. Oh, great. <laughs> you fix one thing and another problem arises. Right. After a few months living on land, it was a fitting reminder that living on a boat is often less glamorous than it seems. But in life, it's the challenges that define us. And without ups and downs, it's hard to realize just how good you have it. If anything, the last few days had only fueled our passion more for getting Delos ship shape and ready to get off the dock to explore more of this amazing country. Up next, we make a quick run to Costa Rica. You ready to go to Costa Rica? Walking across the border. Take a snorkeling mission into the mangroves. and continue doing our best to get Dulles ready to set sail for the season. Got 
right? Yeah, we're so far so good, but. <laughs> <laughs> I know something's gonna break. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yes, it always does. I'm just waiting for it. I love it. I'm just like, I'm just like bombing. And then, <laughs> and then Grace comes running like, there is a slob. Oh. Did he just pee? Oh, the monkey just peed. <laughs> oh, Did he monkey just pee on you? He peed on by a monkey. Oh, no. Baby, baby strength. Wow. <laughs>